OS X Mavericks changes dramatically the way it behaves when you have more than one display plugged into your Mac. So for example, if you have your MacBook Pro and you plug in an external display, you would be extending your desktop or you may be using it as a mirror of the main desktop, let's say for projection purposes. Well, in Mavericks, the interface and the way it deals with multiple displays is actually very different. Now, to show you the new ways that Mavericks deals with multiple displays, let me show you how it used to work. Currently, you're seeing my main display. But actually, I have two displays plugged into this Mac. Let me show you the second display. Okay, now you get to see the two displays that I have plugged into the Mac. And right now I've got it set up so it would behave the way it used to behave in previous versions of OS X. And this was one of the major issues that people had with uh, multiple displays. Is that if you would take an application, for example, I have iPhoto on the right hand side. And I have iBooks on the, lift, on the display on the left. If I take iPhoto full screen, you're going to notice that the display on the left becomes filled up with just the pattern, the gray pattern. And that is just a waste of a beautiful large display. Now the good news is that that has changed in Mavericks. We'll show you in a few minutes. Let me show you a couple of other things of how it behave or how it used to behave before Mavericks. Let me exit uh, full screen mode. And this was, was one of the other ways that it would deal with multiple displays. When you went to the dashboard, I'm scrolling with three fingers sideways. And now you get to see the dashboard. And as you can see, the display on the left is totally empty. I mean, I could use it to put some other uh, widgets on the left hand side. But nevertheless, this is a really large dashboard that for the most part is being underutilized. Let me scroll back so that we can see the two main windows. So as you can see here, that was a waste of space. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the settings. So it goes back to the defaults of Mavericks. To switch the settings, you can go into the system preferences. By the way, before I switch, let me show you another difference. In prior versions of OS X, you could take a, a window and actually spread it out across the two displays. Now, in the screen recording that you see here, you don't notice it very well because the system preferences appears to be as one single window. But physically, on my Mac, this is where one display ends, and on the left-hand side, this piece of the uh, system preferences, uh, it's display on the left display. So the system preferences window is actually broken up into the two displays. And as you can see, when I drag, we get to see uh, the window on both displays. Let me switch it back to the default settings. It's one of those things that it's kind of difficult to remember where you'll find it, but you'll find it under mission control. By default, Mavericks has this check mark enabled. Displays have separate spaces. The default checked will make it behave in the new fashion, which again, it's, it's what you get when you install Mavericks. Now, as you can see here, I need to log out. So this is going to take me a minute. I'm going to log out and then I'm going to come back with a recording. 